Okay, so I'm here to give you uh, the feedback on the technical workshops that took place this morning. Uh, these were organized really on, based on the, the feedback that you have given us uh, in the questionnaires, which was really visible because we had some very interactive workshops that could have probably lasted for another uh, hour if we didn't stop it. Um, so I'm here to present the, the first uh, results. Um, the first session uh, was the session uh, on... Uh, there we go on complex uh, partnership management. So this was a session organized on demand of the, the lead partners in particular. Um, it was a very interactive session and the first thing that came out of it is that it's really important to make sure that the roles and responsibilities uh, are clear from the start but that they are also checked frequently because sometimes people change in organizations, new project manager are only recruited after the approval so they're not the same as the people that have written the application form. So it's really important that the roles and responsibilities are clear for all of these people that will be delivering the, the project. Foster trust and sharing between partners, namely through site activities. So um, teleconferences are really good, but cannot replace actually getting to know your partners. So there was one project that even did uh, a team building, uh, building Lego uh, and, and trying to construct their, proje their project. Uh, ensure uh, intensive communication uh, during the meetings, but also uh, in between. This should be really tailored to the type of project that you are having, but also to the type of organizations that are involved in your project. Create your own uh, project culture based on the individuals behind the partners. Uh, make sure there is a, a, a common understanding about concepts. For example, when you have to report upon the results to the program, everybody needs to know what the program means by the word results. So it's really important that concepts are very clear. And then the last one is to be open for comments and, and feedback. Uh, every, every partner really needs to take ownership of, of what is written in the application form and you need to be flexible and adapt uh, where necessary. The second session and took, uh, that took place this morning was uh, on the, the involvement, the, uh, the effective involvement of the target groups uh, into the project. Uh, a first uh, comment was that there needs to be really a very clear definition of who your target groups are, what the communication objectives are, and you need to discuss this really at the start of the project. Uh, most of the partners have uh, a very clear Excel uh, to monitor, to really define who these target groups are, but also that will allow them to monitor them and to report upon uh, the target groups in the annual progress report. Uh, all partners need to take uh, stock of this, this uh, exercise uh, because it's also important to link it to the more local aspect of communication uh, that is necessary uh, for all of the projects. So it's, it's necessary to integrate this local aspect of the local target groups that each of the parts needs to uh, involve with and to integrate that in the global uh, project uh, communication. Uh, ensure uniform communication, so even though you have local communication and you communicate through a partner's websites, for example, try to have a, a visual identity that can still be used so that people know that it is the project that you are communicating about. Adapt the channels and uh, the products to uh, the audience. So this is really about effectively reaching them, um, knowing the audience uh, first of all, but also knowing that the type of uh, channels that they use regularly. So these are the ones that you need to target with the project. And then last, make use of existing events, make use of free tools, social media to reach a maximum of people. Uh, there were a lot of examples of, of uh, tools that are very easy to use and that are not costly and that can be very effective. So this was really uh, the purpose uh, of this uh, second session. And then uh, the last session uh, was on the keys to success in project and uh, financial uh, management. Um, the first point was keeping focus on what the application form is about, so what the contractual uh, side of the project is uh, about. Uh, there were a number of tools uh, shared during this session uh, by the partners, uh, both uh, really on the follow-up of the project itself, but also on the quality uh, management and evaluation of your project. Uh, involve full partnership uh, in reporting on the project delivery and the progress. Um, do not wait until the annual progress report in January to 
start collecting information, um, look at your project and, and establish really a continuous information flow between the lead partner, the project partners, but also with the uh, first level controllers. Um, there was also a demand for more tools from the program uh, to assist uh, the projects uh, with their uh, monitoring. Uh, a third point is the real, realistic spending forecast, which is really important, but also an ongoing monitoring of the financial expenditure for each of the partners. So there was a suggestion to start every partner meeting with a financial state of play to make sure that everybody is aware of the full picture and that you do not wait until the financial claims. And then, last but not least, um, try to organize a very efficient meeting, uh, kickoff meeting with your first level controller at partner level. And do not only speak about the financial side of it, also explain to your FLC what the project is about and what you will be realizing in the project so that it becomes more concrete uh, for your FLC when he will have to validate the cost. So these are obviously only a few of the conclusions um, of uh, the three sessions this morning. Uh, we have planned also to, to write up the conclusions and to present them to you in a, in a newsletter or a short publication so that all of them can be, can be shared uh, with all of you because you were not able to attend the three sessions. So, but thanks anyway to all of the participants this morning because uh, thanks to you we had very interactive sessions and a, a lot of feedback. Thank you.